This is the only Kagame by Team Karali, a 1/8 scale monster truggy. Guys, it looks awesome. Let's get it opened up. impressions team Crowley have definitely stepped up their game with this new Kagama so this particular so this one is a roller version and as a roller version it only comes with a manual and doesn't come with any kind of electronics as well so something that I'm going to be installing I will do a video to show you how I install the electronics on my Kagama but with regards to the car itself this is what it came with so let's quickly go over and see what they gave us so to start with we've got some Team Corali merchandise here, looks like a tether for the controller and a key ring. Both of them are useful, I will be using them. Then we've got this here, so we've got a pinion and I think this is a 13 tooth pinion. Yeah, it's a 13 tooth pinion and it comes with all the hardware for the motor mount uh, and the grip screw for the pinion as well. Again, something that will become useful as well. And then we've got the instruction manual. Again, this is the instruction manual for the roller uh, and in here will just be a breakdown of all the diffs and how to assemble, uh, explore the diagrams and a parts list as well. Put it somewhere safe, put it, put it back in its plastic wallet, keep it in there. Something that you're going to be referring back to quite a lot um, and it saves you a lot of time and hassle again as well. So, uh, regards to the car itself, as I said, Team Crowley have definitely stepped up their game with this thing. Uh, obviously, off the bat, you've got a brand new body shell here, and the body shell I'm really liking. I, I'm, I do really like it. So I went for the red version, and this red, you can't quite tell uh, indoors, but when it's outside, it's got a little flake in that paint, uh, which is going to look amazing when it's outside as well. But I'm really liking the matte black and the gloss color scheme that they've got going on with this thing obviously you can see we've got some uh, Ruskid plates which the original Kronos didn't come with and something that I did have to add on to my Kronos just to give it some extra durability on the top and that, that roof now seems to be well reinforced um, really liking the new window decals that they've got on here um, I didn't I wasn't a fan of the silver look that they had with the Kronos that's something that did really used to put me off quite a lot with that um, and then we've got the standard Team Corali tethers and pins and I really like the way that they bend these pins at the end here it makes it a lot easier to, to put in and pull out as well uh, tethers I have broken a couple on my Kronos but I think that was just for me pulling on the rubbers rather than pulling on these things so standard silver inside we've got the bracing for the roof skid plates um, as I said that roof does does feel quite solid but this whole body could probably do with some reinforcements so I will be doing some of that on this car as well guys um, regards to the rest of it we've got the old version wing I think I don't see anything different with that it's got some new stickers on there um, we've got a new set of wheels but the original style tires on there and the tires that came on the Kronos I'm really happy with and it's exactly the same on these I don't think they're vented uh, so they're going to need to be vented. So the new wheel design, I'm I'm a big fan of as well. I really like this design. The Kron Kronos ones were a little boring, a bit flat. Uh, I, I did think that they could have done it a little better with the Kronos wheel. But again, the the wheel itself did work. It didn't break or anything like that. So they were really strong. These, I hope, are going to be just as strong as the Kronos ones. Um, again, we've got the standard Team Crowley nut system on here and I don't think these are serrated as well which is something I'm really disappointed um, so uh, if they're not serrated you're going to have to add a bit of blue Loctite on there or change them nuts out for some serrated ones um, but the car itself just quickly look under yeah, it looks like the standard Kronos chassis we will be comparing it to my original Kronos I do like the writing on the bottom it does look nice gives it a nice look on the bottom um, we've got some really beefy 
bumpers on the front and the back and I'm a big fan of the bumpers on my Kronos they look very similar to them ones uh, they did really well originally I wasn't too keen on them because the size of them but honestly they work amazingly so guys what I'll do is before we go over this truck let me get my Kronos and we'll put this thing side by side and we'll go over both trucks and see what changes that they've made and things that stand out and things so here is my V2 I call it Kronos and you can see straight away guys the wheel size um it looks to be the same size uh, as the original chronos wheel as well um the uh, chassis length seems to be very similar i can't see any kind of difference visibly to the eye although i do i did read somewhere there was an eight millimeter or a 10 millimeter difference in the chronos it's like they could go more slightly longer but to the eye guys they look exactly the same wheelbase um regards to the body you can see it's a total different shape to the Kagama, the Kronos body is a lot more rounded and you can see I did add my own roof skid plates on the top here. Um, so let's quickly show you what happened to my Kronos or after a year of bashing. Uh, so the body I did reinforce with some Gorilla tape and looking back at it, it's probably, probably was better to reinforce this with some shoe goo instead. I ended up cracking all the way up here, straight down and the same started appearing on this side here other than that we just got some damage around the front body tower there at the front here um just a slight bit on the back here you can see so that's somewhere that you are definitely need to reinforce um with the new kagama as well but that's the body and then i've already gone ahead and removed the electronics on this to make it into a roller so you get a better view of what The differences are between the two straight away you can see the new kagama has got this nice form block on the top here which gives the body a bit of support the chronos v2 doesn't have that you can notice with my chronos i've got a full tower to tower system this was the upgraded version um team crowley were doing a special offer last year uh, they were doing the chronos with a free tower to tower brace and some upgraded knuckles i think it was as well so the the uh, beefed up knuckles as well came with the new kagama as well so this luckily was sent to me from team crowley for a review and it had all these parts already pre-installed on there and it had some extra bits on there as well so it had the thicker shock towers as well so it's got the five millimeter shock towers front and rear it's got the oversized knuckles um, at the front it's got the oversized um sh shock rod ends as well um, at the back as well. This is a, a really good comparison to compare to the new Kagama because this new Kagama comes with a lot of them features already built into it and some extra ones on top as well so we'll quickly go over that. So going at the front here this is the Kagama at the front and with this Kagama at the front something that's new for it it's got this hinge super thick hinge pin brace at the front I suspect those hinge pin braces run throughout the truck as well that's something really good if you look at the front here you can see this is a, I think it's plastic, yes. So it's got a plastic hinge pin system at the front which attaches with two screws directly to the diff housing. Whereas this one here, I think attaches directly to the chassis itself. So it takes the pressure off the diff housing. And it's something that honestly, you when you do break your diff housing, it's, it's probably one of the weakest points where the diff housing will break is where these screws go in at the front here because when you get a nasty hit on the front here it puts a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on the pin and with it being plastic it is going to break luckily i didn't break any another thing i've noticed straight away we've got with these brand new hardened steel um uh, out drives on the diffs with the chronos v2 as the original ones again you can see they're still completely intact i've had no issues with them at all uh, going on to the arms these arms look to be a lot wider than the Kronos ones these are the Kronos arms here um, thickness wise probably look at look to be the same kind of thickness another thing that I've noticed is we've got these steel caps on the ends now as well that again is a super clever idea that will stop the ends from um, becoming deformed upper arms again so we've got some uh, empty spaces on the upper arm here as well but on the new Kronos ones they are 
filled in. The shape wise, they look to be um, pretty similar in shape, just that it's missing the caps and it's missing this top bit here as well. Shocks look to be very similar. Um, I can see obviously we've got these new caps on the top of these shocks as well, so that's a good little touch. We don't have them on here, um, but again, didn't have any issues with that. Looking at the towers, so my Cronus one, these are the upgraded five millimeter tower, and it's the same thickness on the Kagama, but the shape and the design of the tower on the Kagama is different to the Kronos. You can see there's a big section here missing on the tower for the Kronos one. And then on the Kagama, it's all filled in. And we've got a little section up here. So this seems to look to be more durable than the previous version. Uh, and then we've got the body post on the top here mounted in the same manner as the Kronos one as well. Uh, and then going back here, it's totally different. We've got the new front tower brace to center diff brace here and the brace itself the thickness of the metal brace itself looks to be the same as the old version but the way that they've attached it to the um, tower now and the, the amount of plastic they've used is a lot more in comparison to the kagama one uh, sorry in comparison to the chronos one and then i've just noticed guys the side panels on the kagama are a lot different to the chronos as well um, and it looks to be a lot more beefier on the side panels as well so that's a really good thing as well and another thing that I've just noticed as well I'm just going to grab my ruler you can tell from the side here so the Kagama sits around 9 centimeters off the ground with no load so there's no electronics in there and for the Kronos it's sitting around 7, 7.5 seven centimeters off the ground so the Kagama has got more clearance underneath, which is a good thing. Suspension wise, that is some nice hard suspension on the Kagama. The Kronos, it's a lot softer. So there's definitely a difference in the uh, suspension setup on the new Kagama, which is a good thing because this is designed as a basher. So it is gonna reach some decent heights. Something that I really wanna check as well. This is the Kagama body um, and I just want to see if it fits onto the Kronos and yes it does fit so the body posts at the front line up the body posts at the rear do line up but we've got this little extra section on the body so you could trim that off and this body would fit onto your old Kronos oh, wow so looking at this side elevation we can compare the sides to it as well so here we have the original chrono style battery tray it's the same obviously as the chronos one with the receiver tray at the back here which is attached to the battery tray as well again it's the same here um, just at the front you can see the bracing system on the kagama a lot more clearly now compared to the chronos one you can see the difference the bar itself that runs from the chassis to the uh, diff housing is uh, quite small um, whereas there's a lot more meat on the bar and the on the Kagama as well so they're doing really well on there obviously the whole of this section at the top here is totally different to the Kagama one the Kagama one has a little piece of metal with this plastic bracing that attaches it to the metal you can see it clearly where I've had to design my own little bracing system to reinforce the plastic that holds the tower brace at the front. And obviously I did that at the back as well. Cause I ended up breaking the back one, no, I ended up cracking the back one. See there's a crack there. And I ended up breaking the front one and the section of it just came straight out. Uh, again, when that happens, there's no support for the chassis itself. It's definitely needed this tower brace on the Kronos anyway. Um, with regards to the rest of it, the steering kind of steering setup looks to be very similar in design to the Kagama one as well. Um, just the whole bracing system and this whole molding at the top here is totally different. And you can see the difference in the upper arms as well. Um, where you have we have the solid links on the front here. We have solid links on the front of the Kagama one, but I can see straight away 
there's a difference. The end here is a lot more meat on this Kagama one than there is on the Kronos one. You can see the difference. There's a lot less meat on that one. So that's a good positive as well. Um, the center tower brace looks to be very similar in design to the Kagama one as well. They have these pins that have these O-rings that stop the pins from coming out. Um, which I'm not a big fan of that design. I don't know why they just didn't put a nut and bolt through there or a pin system that Armour uses as well. Uh, that would have been uh, a better option. Um, then just looking at the mortar mount on the Kronos and the Kagama one look to be very similar. But obviously you can see that we've got this bronze colored out drive. So this is a hardened steel out drive on the Kagama. Whereas the Kronos one is your standard metal and then coming back here this center brace to rear tower um, this center to rear tower brace itself again looks to be the same kind of length but the Kagama one has a lot more plastic covering the brace system at the front and at the back here as well which I think is a really good positive it just supports that brace a lot better and um, with the Kagama one again I said I did a break in this little section at the back here so I ended up having to design my own bracing system and put a few nuts and bolts through it to reinforce that whole thing up once I did that that was bulletproof as well um, so yeah unfortunately with the Kronos uh, center brace system you can't actually buy these parts on their own you have to buy the whole system hence why I ended up repairing this and my repair has, has made it a lot stronger as well Going back underneath this brace here You've got the Kronos uh, original brace system which goes all the way from the diff to the rear and it, and it attaches itself straight to the diff housing at the back here whereas the Kronos one you can see straight away there's a lot more meat and it's going again from the back of the diff housing all the way to the top of the tower so that is a really good uh, upgrade that they've done to this Kagama as well now so it takes the pressure off the rear diff housing um, straight away you can see as well we've got the button mounting system for the ESC on the chassis now as opposed to where the Kagama was uh, sorry as opposed to where the Kronos one was and this Kronos one does spin on there so it was a, a little annoying so I'm happy that they've changed that out as well to change that out they've had to have made it a little longer because if you notice here with the uh, original Kronos uh, chassis the um, ESC finishes right at the end here now the Kagama one has got an extra section of material on the chassis as well so it makes that area a bit more uh, durable as well and it gives it a, a lot more strength it's very similar to the design of the um, Creighton chassis as well so um, just going at the back here then so we've got the two braces on either side of the Kagama here and it's exactly the same design and setup as the Kronos ones and they have the body mounts on the top here and attach it directly to the tower again it does the same thing on the tower as well so this yeah. is the other angle now guys um, so straight away you can see uh, what jumps out at me is the receiver box and the server mounting system is exactly the same as the Kronos one um, unfortunately if that is the case then this box isn't going to be sealed um, so it's something that I'm going to have to seal and I will show you what I do when I come to installing all the electrics what I do to seal this thing up and we've got the mortar mount system as I said the mortar mount system looks exactly the same as the Kronos one um, but we do have these steel steel out drives on there as well and the drive shafts themselves look to be the same size as well so there's no change there um, something that i've just noticed on the kagama obviously we've got these mud guards on here which is a really good idea so just here we've got the super thick hinge print brace uh, which is in metal as well uh, which is a good idea again that's attached directly to the chassis but then we've got this here this is a little a uh, metal clip that goes directly onto the um, the arm and it stops the plastic from becoming deformed under constant uh, impacts so that's a really good idea that will stop the uh, arms from becoming loose and breaking the pins as well and that is not present on the Kronos you can see this is plastic 
This is the hinge pin brace on the Kronos, which is plastic. And that hinge pin brace is directly connected to the uh, diff housing as well. And there's nothing on the arm to stop the um, plastics from becoming slightly deformed as well. Really good idea. Again, on the Kronos, we've got solid links at the back here. And you can see I've added um, a washer on the on the outside just to stop that link from coming off and then on here as well you've got the solid links but this time just yeah. at the front there's a lot more meat around there as well so that's a really good upgrade as well again i'll probably put some washes on there just to stop that from popping off as well and then the tower itself on the kagama seems to be relatively the same size they're slightly different in the shape here we've got a section of this tower that's cut out um which I'm not sure why they've done that. Let's have a quick look at the See the Kronos one's got a lot of meat missing in the middle here and doesn't have this section cut out at the top. Um, so whether that makes the tower a bit more stronger, uh, the rear bracing that holding the wing at the back here on the Kronos looks to be the same as the Kagama as well. So again, not having any issues with that. Uh, the rear wings, as I said, they look to be the same on both. Um, and then the tower system we've got these plastic caps again on the back here over the shocks and we don't have that on the Kronos um, and have I missed anything out? The centre differential looks like it's got a metal casing to it uh, it's exactly the same you just see a little bit of red poking out on the Kronos as well Starting with the Kagama at the back here and the rear bracing as I said looks very similar to the Kronos one it looks exactly the same actually uh, the top wing mount system is exactly the same as well and I do notice just under here you can see the screws and you have a bit of adjustment for the wing which I don't think is a really good idea for a basher because it makes that, that uh, connection there a little weak with all the meat that's missing uh, from all the holes as well so I do a little mod you can just have a quick look at my Kronos one yeah. I've got an extra screw in the middle which I've just drilled out a little hole just to put that extra screw in and then I've put some washers on the original ones as well and then I've moved the settings on the original one so we'll have some meat on the top end so it stops it from breaking and I think the first time I ever took the Kronos out I did end up breaking the wing and it, and it broke from here um, so not a big deal uh, something that you can do and I'm not had any issues once I did that little mod there to it and um, just coming down on the Kagama here we've got again the super thick hinge pin brace which is attached directly to the chassis and not the uh, diff housing and you can see here this is a plastic one on the Kronos and it's attached directly with two screws straight to the diff housing rear arms look to be similar kind of thickness but i think they seem to be a bit wider than the chronos ones um the out drives so the drive shafts at the back here and uh, look to be the same kind of thickness as well uh, the rear shocks again look to be very similar to the chronos ones and we've got the slightly thicker um shock rod ends on the kagama um, my Kronos did actually come with the upgraded shock rod ends as well so it looks to be the similar kind of size to them um, the rear hubs uh, seem to be nice and thick uh, similar to my Kronos ones and these have the upgraded rear hubs as well um, everything else the bumper looks to be the same as well setting it over there's a few things that jump out at me straight away uh, first thing is the arms you can see now the thickness of the Kagama arms in comparison to the Kronos ones, they're a lot thicker, so they seem to be a lot more durable, look to be more durable, so we'll see how well they survive. Um, obviously, we've got this really nice rear skid, uh, same on the Kronos as well, and I'm really happy about these skids. You can see that's a year of bashing, and there's relatively little material that I've lost off the rear skid. That means that these screws are well protected, they're not, not gonna grind away um on harsh surfaces 
So I'm really happy that they stuck with that idea as well. Going forward, the chassis, as I suspected guys, is totally different to the Kronos one. Um, you can see the shape difference straight away. The Kagama one has got a lot more material at the bottom here, as I mentioned earlier on. And the Kronos one, you can see how much less material it's got. And it does seem to be wider as well. So the Kagama one seems to be wider um, than the Kronos one as well. So that, to be honest with you, means that this is a brand new chassis for the Kagama. It is definitely 60, 61, three millimeter chassis. So it's the same sort of thickness as the um, Kronos one as well. And then going forward, we've got the front skid plate as well. So again, I'm really happy about these skid plates. It's been really good for me. That's a year of bashing on this skid plate as well. Again, you can see there's very little damage on there. And then the arms and the front look to be a slightly different shape. Um, looks to be a bit thicker at the end here on the Kagama. The Kronos one seems to be a, a bit thinner. And again, we've got them uh, red anodized um, caps that go on to the arms as well. So it's protecting the arms as well. Really good to see that as well, guys. So coming back here, you can see another thing that I spotted as well. You can see the difference in height from the tires from the Kronos to the Kagama as well. So that is the difference in the clearance from the floor on the Kronos. That's an extra two centimeters worth of clearance. So that's a really good thing. So just before we wrap it up, I just want to give my um, personal feedback to Team Corrali. Uh, some issues that I'd like to see them try and address in any future releases. So we'll start on the back here. Uh, wheels, I'd like to see these wheels vented in future hopefully and get rid of the hole on the center of the rim as well inside. Um, that would help with any water dissipation and keep these tires lasted a bit longer. Um, and then the wheel nuts as well. I'd like to see these wheel nuts serrated hopefully in the future. Um, that's not a major expense to do and I don't understand why they didn't really do it with the new Kagama. Um, but as I said, I will be blue lock tightening these up. But if you don't have that, you can just get some armor ones which are pre serrated and you can just bang a few of them on and that would um, rectify that issue for you. Coming back here uh, at the front here, this little front section of the battery tray, I'd like to see that a lot higher. Um, so it can accommodate some taller batteries and it'll protect uh, any of the cells at the top from moving forward. I know you can rotate your um, battery around and it'll still fit in there, but where it, it stops the center here, the cells at the top can get crushed at the front. And obviously that will mean them cells will probably become faulty. Um, I'd like to also see a center, center strap on the um, battery tray as well and that will take some pressure off these Team Corrali straps. These Team Corrali straps don't last very long. I have broken my Kronos ones. Quite Coming back here on the wing. I know this is not for everyone but I think uh, as a basher it doesn't really need all them adjustment holes there and that, that area becomes a lot weaker because of them adjustment holes. So if we had just had one setting on the spoiler that would be sufficient. And then coming forward, the receiver box and the servo mount here. I'd like to see this being sealed in the future. I unfortunately have lost a receiver because of the water ingress on this. Now, when I do my electrical install, I will be sealing my box up and I will show you how I, how I do that. And I've not had any issues since sealing up that box. Um, but guys, that is a few pointers that I'd like Team Corrali to address, hopefully in any future releases. So now let's wrap it up. So that is a quick look at my brand new roller version of the new Kagama by Team Corelli. And as I said at the beginning, I'm super impressed by all of the upgrades that they've done to this rig. It's unfortunate they didn't do those extra little bits, um, but it's not end of the world. It's something that you can't, you are able to do yourself anyway. So um, that is it for today's video. I wanted to have a quick unboxing of this Kagama. I wanted to have a look at it. I wanted to compare it to my uh, Kronos as well and show you all the differences that this new Kagama is coming up with. In the next video, I'm going to be doing a quick electrical install on this car. So if you're interested to know what kind of electrics and how to install them, make sure you're tuned in for that, guys. Um, what I have decided to do is I've pulled out the motor and the ESC from my Kronos, and I'm going to be dropping that into here. 
I've got a different servo to go in there and I've got a new receiver and a remote for this thing as well. So guys, today has been super exciting to unbox this brand new Kagama. I'm really excited to get this thing out and see what it's going to perform like when it's out. If it's anything as good as the Kronos that I've had, it's going to be a lot of fun guys. And honestly, but before that again, we do have to do some protection mod to this thing and we've got to install all the electrics as well. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video um, on this thing. And until then,